welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Kansas City Royals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So up next, Jay Mack. You know, when you look around the game and think about the best power hitters in the sport, this guy is one of the first names you got to come up with. In the air, out to center, Stoddard drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. And next up for the Royals, Jay Mack. Now singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And that extends his hitting streak yet again. This is starting to get pretty interesting, Singy. Yeah, and the way he's going, it seems like there's no end in sight. This is a guy that no pitcher steal, wants steal, to face. Steal. Here comes the pitch. Okay. Runner breaks for second. Swing and a miss. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. Kicks and fires. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Royals lead one, but they still lead it one nothing. One down, and to the play for Kansas City, Jay Mack, one for two. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh one. Well, the hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. We'll see how he changes it up on this next pitch. One down, base is empty. Ripped to the right center. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Oh, here we are. Third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. One out, runner at second. So up now for Kansas City, Rodrigo Osuna. And it's even up. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Move to second, and he dives back in safely. Any way you can, any way you can. Here we go. That misses, and it's three and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Mack, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it. And there's two away. Now batting third baseman, Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty digs in now. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. I think he was sitting off speed there.
and a pitch. And down on strikes. That's out number three. So one left for Kansas City, but they lead it 3 nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And to the play for Kansas City, Jay Mack. The catcher. The why to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And that's outside. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And he deals. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but the if you can hit a ball that three. hard on the ground, it's going to find go. some holes. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Man at first, Rodrigo Osuna steps in for the Royals. And here it comes. And a strike. Nobody better. Clutch up for us right now. Going, Rudder going, takes Rudder. off. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Hey, keep it going. Need you right now. At the Rudder, belt, Rudder, fires. Rudder. Rudder goes again. Up the middle. Throw on to Torkelson. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting, the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty steps in for the Royals. Good contact guy, good defender. Here's a 1-1. In the dirt, blocked. And the runner stays where he is. Runner at second no here, one gone. Right now, Get your pitch right here. Come on now. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Next offering way off the plate. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Tap back up the middle. Rokio handles in plenty of time to first. Two gone now. Now batting the designated hitter, Yoan Moncada. Here is Moncada. And the pitch. Look out! And it hit him. Now, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy loses confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Left hand batter waits. Right through there for a strike. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Royals strand a pair as the lead remains 3-1. Sometimes you can flip a coin with these short two-game series, but they came out, they got the first game, and that's all you want to do. You know you're guaranteed a split at this point, but now you got to turn the page and get ready for the next game. Perhaps you get a two-game sweep. And your final 3-1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.